after the original Halloween 2, Halloween 4 is a big step in the right direction. While it loses some of the eerie atmosphere, this one wastes no time and is far from boring. However, there is a samey kind of feel to it with the others that works in its favor while also being its biggest flaw. A return to form can carry nostalgia with it, but it also can make the film kind of not stand out as much as it should. It doesn't really further the mythology other than Myers' thing seems to be about his family, which kind of plays into the seeds of Sam Hain coming in later in the Thorn cult and what Halloween 2 was talking about with those breadcrumbs. Because we know where it eventually goes, there's not much to hint at that. That really comes into Halloween 5, but I appreciate that there's just a little bit of talking about to set that up in the first of the trilogy. The kills here, and I struggle with this phrase, but the kills here were a major step up. One of the problems with the original is that the kills feel really goofy, and here they're pretty horrific and made Michael feel scary again. I also like that we don't see him much, adding to the idea that Michael's true curse on people is his effect, even when he isn't around. But good grief, his mask is goofy looking here. It robs the film of much of its tension, as does the pointless romantic self plot storylines and random nudity i hate that about this genre and these movies golly that mask is so bad looking what were they thinking anytime he shows up i kind of chuckle a little bit and then get a little weirded out when the kills are so gory it's like a tonal imbalance seeing this person do that it almost makes you laugh in like a dark humor kind of way my friend reminded me that halloween kills pulls the mob idea from this one which is cool it's a bit of an afterthought here and a little undercooked in kills but it's nice to see the references and understand them now so that makes kills actually a little less original than i thought it was the cinematography and the direction are fine if unremarkable the music is halloween-esque and the performances are good and loomis especially sells it his terror at realizing that michael is back is the best part of this film and it's one I watched a little bit of on TV back in the day. I really love Dr. Loomis in this one. It's actually one of his best movies in my opinion. That ending too, wow, chills. Everything I just mentioned in this review gets a major step up in those last five minutes. It is edge of your seat kind of stuff. This could have been a good bookend to a solid Myers trilogy, a finale that brings us back to where we started with a child demented by whatever family curse or things around him turning them into a killer from Michael to Jamie. But I'm glad there's more for me to explore in these Halloween 5 and 6 versions and endless movies it seems like as I record these reviews. And the world building that follows I think just adds to this movie. I give Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers, 3.5 out of 5 stars. No matter how sad it is that the Halloween series didn't become an anthology, I still really like Halloween 4. What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments, follow me on Letterboxd, smash that like button, and please subscribe. And remember, always look for the good.